I can't wait to meet you. I'll be there. Hey, easy on my couch. Get your stuff out of the bathroom, boy. Wow, perfect. Kylene is a genetic freak. Five, oh, four. I'm sorry, folks. I want this. Three. <sighs> Nothing is going to get in my way. Two. Uh, Destination Arnold follows these two crazy indigenous chicks, Kylene and Tash, as they sort of claw their way onto the stage, or hope to claw their, claw their way onto the stage of Arnold Schwarzenegger's inaugural um, Arnold Classic competition, which is a really um, prestigious event in bodybuilding and was held for the first time in 2015. That was the plan, but of course, in documentaries, most things always go awry. So it ended up being kind of like a long odyssey following a failure and then a struggle to kind of reclaim the glory of getting on stage in women's bodybuilding. From the beginning, the film was about inspiring women, also the Indigenous community, but also the wider community. We want people to come out and feel motivated and inspired to have a healthy lifestyle and, uh, yeah, make better choices. And um, obviously you don't need to take the extreme end of doing bodybuilding, but sometimes you need to do something extreme for people to notice. As growing up, I was a very unhealthy child. I think at my worst, I got up to about 100 kilos. I woke up one day and I thought, I don't want to do this to myself anymore. So I started going to the gym. I started working out. I did get a personal trainer. I started to lose weight and I was making better lifestyle decisions. And then I sort of plateaued for a little while and I thought I need to put a goal towards you know coming into the gym so I thought that's when I thought yep I'm going to do a bodybuilding competition I uh, had people around me saying you know you should do a competition you should do it you know you'd be great you'd be fantastic and what you become at the end of it is absolutely you know great you you're mentally stronger obviously physically you're stronger emotionally you're a lot stronger as well so um, yeah that all of those, it definitely, t the journey ticked all those boxes. I've come out mentally, emotionally and physically stronger and yeah, I feel, I feel better for it. It had all the elements. It had like the friendship, the rivalry, the, you know, the, they were a perfect foil for each other. He had this crazy coach who was this kind of like profound orator that would pr push everyone's buttons and emotionally blackmailing. It was, it was just so fraught with all sorts of um, entertaining elements. Right from the beginning they knew like you got to give the dark stuff to understand the light. You can't just have like a kind of promo video. So I thought that was it's just so rare now. People are, people know what the camera can do and they're, they're guard and they self-censor so much but I think it was just a lot of trust and it was set up well to have good support and everybody felt comfortable to give like we'll just shoot it now and we can decide later if we're going to use it and you know that system yielded a really good result, I think, of a kind of feeling of honesty. It doesn't have to be bodybuilding that you get into, because it's definitely not for most people. It's very masochistic, and um, you have to love pain and de deprivation. But um, if you find something else, like it's ballroom dancing, just get into it and go for it with passion. Um, yeah, I think it's, they, it's a really rousing message, like you just like do something for yourself. Yeah, women can do stuff for theirself, themselves and... Uh, I hope the audience do take away, again, uh, you know, being motivated and inspired and you can... Anything you put your mind to, you can, you can definitely do it.